here is my homemade overkill sniper cannon I guess we can call it that I made this bad boy when I was 17 or 18 and I remember at that time I was really into cannons and that kind of stuff and I still am and today I got yeah, over 10 cannons but this one is my own design and it's pretty overkill it's probably the most overkill design of them all the idea here was to to make it look like not a cannon but like something between a sniper and some automatic machine gun <laughs> and yeah I think I think I did a good job on that but yeah basically I'm just gonna walk you through it and tell you a little bit about it show you how it works if we start here at the barrel the barrel is only this part right here and it's very short it's only about this in length and the reason for that is because back then when I made this I didn't have any longer drill bits so an average size drill bit is only about this in length and I didn't have anything else to work with so that was the end of that but today I found much larger uh, barrels or pipes that I can use as a barrel because the barrel has to be at least 10 millimeters in thickness to withstand the pressure and I didn't know some manufacturer produce super thick pipes like that but today I have one and I will be switching switching this one out for the longer one so that one will reach all the way from here to to here so I will be drilling a small hole here and put the fuse there because right now everything behind this line and back is pretty much unnecessary but I didn't care back then because yeah the main goal was just to create the coolest cannon in the world I didn't care about the efficiency <laughs> but yeah it had to be cool so that was the main goal but now I want it to be also as powerful as it can be and still look cool so yeah that's the plan just to clarify one thing even though the cannon itself is very small it's ridiculously powerful so never underestimate a small cannon if there's one thing i've learned it's that so if you get shot in the head with this you're dead so if you don't believe me I'll put a link down in the description box where I show my other cannon in action that is almost exactly like the front end here. It's, it's, it's made with the same drill, so go check that out and you will see what I mean. So after installing the, the larger and longer barrel, I'm not sure how much the power will increase, but it will definitely increase a lot. So either way, it's, it's powerful enough. So, when I'm reloading, I start by moving the fuse cover to the side, then find a nice fuse, like that one. These fuses are from small rockets, by the way. And we put the fuse right in that small hole, like that. And then put the cover back over, so it sticks out like this. And the fuse cover is to prevent all the sparks from spraying in my face when I'm shooting because they tend to go out of the fuse hole a lot because of the pressure. So yeah, the next step would be grabbing the powder bottle. Put some powder inside the barrel and then pick a bullet. And like you can see, I made a couple of them myself. This is a 316 stainless steel bullet that I made in a lathe and it's shaped like a bullet and I also have these these here that are smaller and made out of tin and I make these in my custom mold right here so this is just a wood that I drilled with an 8mm drill bit cut it in half and put this tape to close it so I just melt them into here and then open this up and the bullets are ready to go. I even got some nails and screws if I wanna change change the ammo for something more interesting. 
and then I got some cleaning stuff as well. And here is the drill bit that I used. And like you can see, it's no longer than the barrel because I didn't have any longer. But yeah, there was another way. I could have welded a actual onto the drill bit and make it much longer that way. But I wasn't that smart back then, unfortunately. But that doesn't matter now since I got the longer barrel. So basically, when you put the the uh, bullet inside, you take this take this uh, tool right here, and this is made out of ball bearing and an axle, and you use this to to uh, press the powder. I'm not sure what this thing is called in English, but you get the idea. And then it's fully loaded and ready to go. Oh, and by the way, these bullets right here are made for BB guns or CO2 guns. And they are made out of steel. And I could put a couple of them inside the barrel, even though the bullets are 4mm and the barrel is 8mm. But that would just work like a shotgun. But I have a smaller cannon that I made specifically for these bullets. And maybe I will show that one yeah, in the next video or so. So let me know what you wanna see. And here we have the dampener that is made out of spring. <laughs> and it's yeah a little bit weakly, but it does its job of of uh, damping the 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 impact. And the handle is made out of flat bar all flat bars and and pipes everything is thick welded like you can see very nice welds and this uh, spring has a dual function so when you're shooting you can you can always keep the handle straight even though the, the gun is not straight so that's a bonus and the legs the legs are extendable so you can loosen up these nuts here and drag them out so they will be almost twice in length if you need any more stabilization. So yeah, I think that's all. If you have any further questions, hit me up in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And by the way, I will be building and designing tons of new stuff in the near future. So definitely stay tuned for that got a lot of ideas and also if you want to see this gun or any other cannon in action just let me know because I am very excited to try out the new barrel I think it's going to be a lot more powerful and yeah and more fun all right I'll see you in the next video